Sudanese Madam Minister. This past summer, the ANCA Lewis Turkey Center achieved new highs in our lobbying board. Before I explain how astounding our Lewis Turkey Center summer interests were this year, I want to put their award in perspective through some simple statistics. In the course of eight weeks, just 56 days, 435 congressional offices were visited by nine LSIs four different times. They individually met with foreign affairs staffers, members of Congress on their own, successfully advocating to, for increased aid to Armenia, uh, aid to Artsakh, and after 20 years of silence on securing Artsakh, they advocated for pro-peace measures to be included in the National Defense Authorization Act. And when USAID threatened to end the demining program in Artsakh, they hit the offices again, fighting for the much needed humanitarian aid projects in our homeland. In the course of eight weeks, all 100 offices, Senate offices, were met with. Our interns explained the situation in Artsakh and fought to save aid to Artsakh in that house as well. In the course of eight weeks, just 56 days, nine interns had 1,840 sit-downs. 1,840 sit-downs resulted in $60 million in aid to Armenia, 1.5 to Artsakh, and let's not discount that their grassroots efforts led to our historic four or five for HRS 296. When 296 was scheduled for a vote, half the team immediately traveled back to BC and started lobbying. The other half rallied the troops in their local district, and the teamwork was profound and effective. The battalion chiefs, Yeradam, Yer Elizabeth, Yer Teresa, Yer Nessus, and myself trained and empowered our interns, and I cannot, I cannot begin to describe, to describe how proud I am of their accomplishments. The ANCA takes, inve takes investing in our youth very seriously. It is no coincidence that our interns have become our staff, including the ANCA Eastern Region's uh, Executive Director and Communications Director, um, and, attained, and our interns will attain leadership positions throughout our sister organizations nationwide. In fact, many of our interns have gone to be ANCA Holy Gospel Salvation Castle Gateway Career Fellows. Uh, that program has helped over 100 Armenian Americans to launch their careers in Washington, D.C., and over 60 of them are currently working in Capitol Hill as staffers and members of Congress. Uh, this summer, we had a very confident, high end asset, hardworking, and intelligent group of students who did not believe in rest for eight weeks until our goals were achieved. Their summer was all about strengthening our advocacy movement in the halls of Congress by passing these four pro-Armenian amendments. And due to their work, the U.S. House of Representatives sent a very powerful and clear message to, other, to Azerbaijan that the U.S. will not tolerate violence against innocent civilians. Every year brings new opportunities for us to build on the credentials of our youth. We don't know what policy or activities will be found in DC next summer. But what we will guarantee is that if you invest in our program, whether that's through a generous donation or entrusting us with your bloodline, there will be an effective soldier in the second army of the Armenian nation. To our, to our amazing 2019 Lewis Arkisan interns, but can think of that I cannot wait to witness your future accomplishments in the world of ITAT. Please join me in thanking our ANCA Eastern Region of the Thank you. Rubina Gozayan, Nairi Bilatriyan, Mary Galstian, Darwin Kovalian, and Lucia Kozulian.